today, my brother and I are going to be using AI to generate realistic Pokemon. It's going to be up to you guys to vote to see who actually gets the more realistic Pokemon. We're going to need your guys' help. The first one is Charizard. Ooh, Charizard, my favorite. All right, Good luck, Adam. You have one minute. One minute? All right, that's all Go. I need, baby. Go. So today, we're going to be using Mid Journey in order to generate our realistic Pokemon. I've been using this quite a bit, so I know exactly what to put. Hyper realistic Charizard. Let's see if that works. One of the best things about Mid Journey is that it gives you four different images to work with. Whoa. Wait a second. These are actually really good. It's only 93% done and it finished it up. Check these out. Now we have to pick between one of these four and figure out which one we want to make even bigger. I honestly think this one on the top right looks the best. I have no idea what Adam's look like. So if we like that one, we're going to click U2 and then it should start to make that one even bigger. Upscaling image number two with hyper realistic Charizard. Check that out, guys. We just got it back. There is no way that Adam got a better realistic Charizard than I did. Okay, I just got mine back. Are you Sorry, ready, I'm, I'm dirt two. boy? I'm, I'm what do you two. mean, bro? Come on. Let me just decide, guys. Comment down below which one you would have chosen. All right, I got mine. Okay, paste them in our chat in three, two, one. Oh! Whoa! Dude, Bro, wait a second. Our, They're actually kind of similar. Yeah, I was about to say our faces are exactly the same. Yeah, well, the faces exactly, look good. Yeah, I, th I think mine's a little bit more detailed, but yours has the full body, which I really wanted to get. It just didn't give it back to me with the full body. Yeah, it looks like yours has like someone drawing it. Yeah, honestly. It has the pencil and everything. Ooh, bro. Yeah, dude, your scales are crazy. It's a tough one. Yours looks really cool, too. And you have the fire element. Yeah, I have the full body, too. Like, your stops at the neck. What's that? I don't know. Form? Your fingers are kind of weird. Bro, on your Charizard. Look at your right side. Look at your bottom left corner. What is that? Is that what his hands? No, that's like a wing popping <laughs> out. That's a wing. <laughs> Yours is weirder than mine. Do you like even see your perfect. fingers? Your fingers look all crooked. Nah, dude. Mine, I think I'd take the dub on round one. It's up to you guys. Go in the comment section down below and vote for who had the better Charizard. At the end, we're going to tally up all of your guys' votes. The scales are sick. Even your mouth. Look at your mouth. The teeth are a little weird. What do you mean, bro? What do you mean? All right, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> I'm just pointing out all your flaws here, so I can't You have win. so... All right, whatever. All right, all right, next up, we have Gengar. Gengar. Oh, gosh. All right, this could be tough. I'm going to destroy you. Okay, we need to figure out a way to adjust our prompts so that we get a full body version of Gengar. So we're going to do hyper-realistic Gengar Pokemon full body. Let's see if that brings back anything that's good. I think we can also do multiple at the same time. So we're going to do slash imagine realistic Gengar Pokemon haunting someone in their dreams. Okay, we got a little bit of the first ones back, and what, bro? Why is there a person there? Okay, honestly, out of all of these, the top right or the bottom right probably look the best. The guy is super creepy, but I really love the teeth on Gengar. Okay, it looks like the realistic Gengar Pokemon haunting someone in their dreams is working. I think this one might be even better. Okay, and for the last one, we're going to do a giant realistic Gengar in a scary forest. Let's check out this one. Honestly, dude, the top right one looks super good. Look at its mouth. That is so creepy. Okay, the top left one definitely doesn't look that real. Bottom left looks like something from where the wild things are. Bottom right, I don't really like. It kind of looks like an old man Gengar. So right now, I'm going to have to go with the top right version. Wait a second. The ones in the forest look amazing. Oh, wait. The bottom left one. I think I have to go with that. Either that. Oh, wait. The top right one looks really good, too. Because there's like a normal person in there, so it seems like it's in the real world, whereas the bottom left one kind of looks like it's in like a mystical forest that might not really exist. Okay, so we're going to go with version 2 here. In this one, I want to see the bigger version of also version 2. It honestly seems like version 2 is the best one out of every single prompt that I put. This is actually crazy that it can give me back four different completely original images literally of whatever i want and we just got them both back Whoa, dude, I don't know. It's a close one. I think this one looks kind of more realistic. Like, I wish I could put this one in this one. But honestly, there's a normal looking person there, so I'm gonna have to go with this one. This one honestly looks the most real. And it looks spooky, dude. Check out its eyes. Time is up. Okay, you got it ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Realistic Gengar. Holy smokes, bro. Yo. 
Yours looks nah. like an evil version of like the uh the dude from like my neighbor Tondro. Remember that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my neighbor Totoro? Totoro. He looks like he's gonna eat you. You what just draw a demon eyes? slayer out of nowhere. I'll, I'll give you like a little tour of mine. So mine, I had a lot of different options, but this one I think is the most realistic, especially because like the area around it looks really real, especially like yeah. with the person standing there and like the light coming down. I was gonna say that tree and the grass looks so real. Yeah, I think that's like a big part of like trying to make a Pokemon look real. Like the environment has to look yeah. pretty real too. And yeah, that dude's just standing there. Is that how big Gengar would be, bro? <laughs> He's huge. Maybe. That's it's like just, Gengar's yeah. daddy. Yeah, that's like a like a Gigantamax okay. Gengar. I mean, obviously mine has way more detail, but what I hate about it is it doesn't have arms. I, honestly, missing. yeah, dude. That's like, that's Gengar. Gengar has arms. You're, you I got T-Rex version but of like, Gengar. It has the red eyes and it has the teeth. Adam, it has Adam, like Adam. The, the two main spikes here. I will Ooh. say, okay. yours, is, yours is scarier for sure, but is it more realistic? Wait, I want to show you my backup one. This one obviously doesn't count but i just wanted to show you this was the other oh one. yeah that one's a little bit more cartoony but yeah. i do like that one Dude. yeah i think uh this is my backup one as well <laughs> bro, <laughs> he's creepy that, that reminds me of monsters inc <laughs> honestly bro he would be the best at monsters inc oh my god all, all right, right guys comment down below who you think won this round it's pretty evident we're going for realistic here realistic come on i don't know mine gotta mine, come on mine looks like it could be plopped down in real life right now and no, but mine is plopped down in real life look at that it's about to eat that man. Yours is kind of realistic if it if it was cloudy in the forest. Because it's like the what? detail's not exactly there, but Dude, it, I can see. It is that. cloudy in the forest. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm saying it. It's like if you imagine clouds with it, like it does blend in well. And then you with the human next to it. It's it's up to I you like guys. It. All right. I like that round. Let's move on to the next one. Game next game. up, realistic Lucario. <laughs> Why is Let's he so go. excited? All right, I'm coming for you. Slash imagine hyper realistic Lucario. Let's see what we get with that. And we'll also do slash imagine realistic Lucario in the real world standing next to a person. <laughs> Oh, whoa, wait, these actually look amazing. And last one we'll do slash imagine hyper realistic Lucario standing in Egypt near a pyramid. One of these is going to be amazing. I don't know what this one is right there. It kind of looks like Lucario might be in like the Star Fox series. The top right one and the bottom left one look really good, but we need the full body. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. The full body ones look sick. Okay, the top left one for sure is my favorite. The top right one looks a little bit too cartoony. I think it's the same with all of them. Like the top left one for sure looks the most realistic. And then standing next to the pyramids, I, I don't think I like any of these let's try one more super detailed realistic lucario pokemon full body next to Ryolu Pokemon. I think it might get confused. As a backup, let's go with the first version in this. Wait, these ones actually might turn out okay. They just look like cartoons. I wish that they looked more real. I don't know if I like this one, but it's the best that I got. All right, I have my Lucario. Oh gosh, this was a struggle for me. I'm rendering out right now. I think you're gonna take this round, man. This one was tough. Three. Two, one. Whoa. Put it in the chat. Oh, gosh. Ours are oh. way too simple. Bro. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, dude. I, I'm going to say, I don't think yours looks like Lucario that wow, much. Mine's the same as yours, except for the blue I eyes. Don't, I don't think so, man. What are you I, I think about? mine mine looks way more like Lucario than yours. Are you, are you kidding me? Not even kidding. Not even kidding. Or is this so close Yours to looks more thing. like like some sort of cat. It looks like a cat fox. Is the same thing as me? Nah, mine looks like Luca. Look at it. Look at the teeth. Looks you so are much better. Tripping. This is Jax. Okay. You're, okay, you're, you're just wearing like some weird clothes, too. Oh my. You are talking out of your booty right now. Whatever. Mine quality. looks better either way. Mine looks no, way better. Not. Okay. Yes, it does. Yes, better, it does. But I don't know if it's more realistic than mine. We're going by realism. All right. All right it's up to you guys. Fun. Comment down below who had the more realistic, better looking Lucario. It's definitely mine. You're no. lucky I didn't pull out the big No, gun with this it's one. mine. It's mine. Guys, come on. Leave a like to join my team. You guys got to do it at this point. What even is that? You're what kind of crap is that? that? What do you mean you could have pulled it out all you want? Look Don't at this one. The floor with you. Look, 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 look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> type in Lucario next to Lady. Oh, uh, this one's going to be close. I think the votes are going to be 50 50. Ah, yeah, dude, right down the middle. Well, I mean, it's probably going to sway towards me. No, that's that's BS. Next up, realistic Pikachu. A fan favorite. Ooh. 
We should get some pretty good results for this one since I think the more images that are already out there of the Pokemon, that the better mid journey can actually make the pictures. So I really like what the last one did. So we're gonna do hyper realistic Pikachu using Thunderbolt. I don't know if it's gonna actually understand what I mean by using Thunderbolt. We're gonna find out. Okay, while that's doing that, we're gonna do slash imagine realistic Pikachu standing on realistic Ash Ketchum head. I'm liking these so far. That top right one looks amazing. And the bottom left one does too. I like that there's a little bit of fur on it. Oh wait, this one's pretty sick. I don't know what the top left one is. Pikachu does not look like that really. The prompt was realistic Pikachu standing on realistic Ash Ketchum's head. That is not Ash Ketchum. Oh, these ones are pretty cool too. I like that it's holding a battery and I, I think a camera. This is a tough decision. Okay, I think out of all of these, I gotta go with the top right right one here. So that's version two in this one. Guess the top right one. I don't even know if I want to do that, but I guess we'll do it. And then this one, I think the top right one looks the most real. Actually top left looks pretty real because it is like a tiny little rodent, almost like a hamster or a gerbil. So I think top left kind of looks like that the most. We're going to lock that in. I still can't get over how amazing AI is at making realistic Pokemon. Like when I was 10 years old and you told me that eventually you would be able to do this, I would have told you you were crazy but look at the world we live in. We got our first one back. I'm liking this one. This one looks good. They got the shape of the ears right, the giant red rosy cheeks. The toes are a little bit strange, but the tail matches up as well. Okay, this tail is way better, but I don't know. This one kind of looks a little bit less realistic than the other ones. Wait, this is it. This is for sure the one that we're going with. That looks amazing. It's like a tiny hamster trying to charge up with electricity. Time is up, Adam. Oh, I am more than prepared. You're going Actually? down. Oh, so you got one ready. You are going down, sucker. Here we go. Are you right, ready to put, right. put it in? I think I'm making my final decision. All right. Three, two, one. Realistic Pikachu. Oh. oh, whoa, wait, they're actually really close. Why do we pick the same ones? I don't know, bro. It's literally like like almost the same. Yours, yours looks like ah, it's yours getting is a little shocked. cuter. Mine yeah. looks like it's actually generating electricity. Yours looks like it's getting hurt. What are you talking it. about? Yours is literally holding a battery. Same yeah. as mine. No. Mine broke the battery. Look at that. Mine broke the battery. Yours it's shattered. It looks like it's getting hurt. It looks like it just, it's hopeless, it's, honestly. It's charging up. It's like about to use Thunderbolt, dude. My, my Pikachu is fresh from a Pokeball. Nice. It's, I it is cute. It definitely is cute, but it's not realistic, all right? Realistically, what? Pikachus are being used in battle. What is it, what is it battling? The the it's baby you, charger you, in the you can't left? see. No, there's like a giant Charizard all the way to the left. Oh, there is? Uh, it's, yeah, it's just out of frame. Dude, you're, the lighting on yours is really nice. Yeah, I do like the lighting on mine a lot. It looks like the, like, the electricity that it's creating is providing the light for the entire image. Yeah, it seems like it too. Mine a little cool. bit, but but not not entirely. Mine also, I will say, it looks more like a thunderbolt attack. Yours looks like a bunch of like LED lights kind of just whoa, like doing whoa, something whoa, dumb. Whoa. No, that's got, just because the camera, the ultra realistic camera. I, took I just got to just got to call it as right. it is. I think mine also has more realistic fur, just saying, and more realistic ears as well. Your ears just, are kind of weird. No, yours is just it kind of looks more realistic because it's it looks wild. Mine looks like it's domestic. Yours is wild, mine's domestic. That's yours is too too cute to be real exactly what i've seen bunnies just like this in real life guys guys it's up to you leave a comment down below hashtag team back bro or hashtag team dirt boy dirt boy i've definitely won this round there's no way bro you can stop 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 all right next pokemon Ooh. greninja Ooh. let's go you probably don't even know what this looks like it's a uh... slash imagine hyper realistic greninja throwing a shuriken of water. I think I spelled that right. And then we'll just do slash imagine hyper realistic Greninja full body slash imagine Greninja as a real life Pokemon. All right, we're getting back to early art. Some of these are looking pretty good. Oh, wait a second. These ones are going to be sick. Whoa, what am I looking at here? Okay, the top right one looks amazing. I, I honestly can't say it really looks too much like Greninja, but that's awesome. Wait a second, these ones are cool. Especially that bottom right one. That's looking awesome. And look at that giant thing on its arm. Mmm, this is gonna be tough. That top right one, actually. That top right one looks like it could be a real life animal. I think it is pretty clear to me, guys, that that is the one to go for. I think we're gonna win this one easily. Dirt boy is trembling. 
<laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look at it. What the flip? That actually looks real. The colors in this are amazing. And check out the reflections in the eyes. I don't understand how AI is able to do that. It's kind of scary. Do you have your Greninja? Yeah, it's just rendering out right now. Okay, all right. I'll I'm give you a gonna sec. I'm going to tell you right now, you are not winning this round. There's just no shot. I'm, I'm telling you right now, you're not winning this round. There's just 0% chance. There's got to be. Up my sleeves. There's literally 100% chance that I win this. 100%. 100%. No. You should be scared. I'm trembling. You're going to be blown away by how realistic my Greninja is. I don't think I am. Well, you're going to be surprised. Three, two, one. one. Realistic Greninja. Oh, yeah, you lost. No, There's I no. didn't. Dude, oh. what do you mean? Yours looks like Bro. a cartoon. Where's Yours looks like scarf? a League of Legends character. Scarf? What do you mean? He doesn't even need a scarf. He left it at home. What do you mean mine looks like a cartoon character? You can't. It me? does. It doesn't even look realistic. What? The water doesn't even look real. Dude, check out my eyes. Look at the eyes of my character. Look at the face. You can see like the little tiny no. amphibious scales. Yours looks are like you it has kidding an airplane me? on its forehead. Are you kidding me right now? No, bro. Those are just the ears, no. bro. Don't make fun of his ears. We don't body shame. Okay, the eyes do look really cool. And I do like They the look so real, face. dude. I, okay, I will say your Yours looks cooler, but mine looks 10,000 times more real. No. It does. You, you, you want to admit it, but you can't. Absolutely. Because this not. is a competition. It's like taking on an iPhone 8 right there. My, and my yours looks like it, it was it was drawn by a professional artist. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks like it was taken on a phone. No. That, no. In the wilderness. It, it's very it looks realistic. like It looks like a League of Legends character. What? My guy is staring at you guys to make sure you leave a comment down below voting for my guy. My guy's actually loading up that water whip to slap you in the booty if you don't leave a comment <laughs> what? and say Team Dirt Boy for this round, baby. You guys got to let us know who won this round. Okay, next up, Rayquaza. Oh, let's go, dude. Okay, you're going down. First up, hyper-realistic Rayquaza in real life. I think that's how I got a good one last time. I did Greninja as a real-life Pokemon. So let's do Rayquaza as a real-life Pokemon. Rayquaza in real life flying through a cloudy sky. Okay, these are the first things that we got back. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Honestly, out of these, the top right kind of looks the best. Rayquaza doesn't have any limbs, really. Like, he has, like, little tiny arms, but I don't know. The top left one kind of looks like a Transformer. Same with the bottom right one. I guess the top right or the bottom left are the best so far. These ones look a little bit better. The bottom right one looks like the cutest baby Rayquaza I've ever seen. And these ones aren't even close to being realistic. This one looks pretty good. Rayquaza kind of looks like a giant snake, so it makes sense that it has the mouth of a snake. I have my Rayquaza. Bro, how? Okay, mine, you'll you'll see what I was going for. It didn't Hopefully exactly it was something realistic. It, but it does, I think it does look realistic. Okay, All I'm right, ready. you ready? In three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! Wait. Check out mine, man. Yours is <laughs> garbage. <laughs> what? Mine's crazy. Yours is terrifying, dude. I what know. Rayquaza's, I think he's a snake, so what could I just you have like possibly plugged in to get that. Dude, isn't that insane? Yeah, that does look yeah. realistic, but it looks terrifying. I, I know, I know. It's got like the snake mouth and everything. Yours looks like something that I would find in a bad mobile game. <laughs> It kind of looks like it like it's it started it's a, off as a mobile game and it's coming out of his phone. It's a dragon. It's literally a dragon. That's not tried, what Rayquaza looks like at I all. I know, it's not supposed to have legs. <laughs> I tried. I don't know how the flip you got that. Are you like combining uh, animals with the with the Pokemon? Comment down below who had the better Rayquaza. Oh, I'm gonna beat you next round. I know the strat. Next up, Eevee. Eevee. Like Eevee. Alright, let's go. Slash imagine Eevee in real life. And then we're gonna make it 16 by 9. We're also gonna try a new prompt. Photo realistic Eevee in a grass field. Whoa, check out the one on the top right or bottom left. These look amazing. They're so fluffy. Let's do slash imagine person holding a realistic Eevee standing in a grass field. Okay, one of them kind of looks like a bunny. Okay, I honestly think the top left one is my favorite so far. So let's make a bigger version of that. And I think I got to go with the top right one. It looks so cute and innocent. This one is cursed right now. Dude, what is the top left version of this? That is so bad. This Eevee looks angry, and I don't even know what's happening in the bottom left one. We can't use these. These are the best. Now, do I use this Eevee or this one? 
Honestly, I think this one looks the best. The lighting is just too good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and copy this one. I think I got it. Like, I literally think people can write books about how good and realistic this EV is looking right now. Can they? Really? Nah. Three, two, one, realistic EV. Oh, oh, wow. Wow, dude, that first one's looking real nice. Who, wait, who, who, whose is that? Oh, it's mine. Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's mine. It's mine. Dude, it's mine. Where is your fluffy neck? Please tell me. What do you mean? He's got a fluffy neck. Are you? No, what are you looking at, not. bro? Get not glasses. You mine. obviously need glasses. Neck is. It is pretty fluffy. It is. It is fluffy. But I don't. I don't know, dude. Yours is like. Ah. What? Th this is. This is a tough one. Mine is like a baby Eevee, so it's even cuter, and it's got all the same features as your Eevee. Look at how light your ears are. Mine yeah, has the dark ear feature. Look at the actual Eevee. Scroll up. Which one? Which one would you want to have as a pet? It, that's not. That's not the competition. Mine. Mine. In real that life, you would want to have mine as a pet. Yours also. So it doesn't have to have full body so we don't even know if it has feet what are you talking about we don't even know okay so everyone that that of your images that no no no, no. We, we can't go back and revote where we're what past are you that talking now about, man? look at the little feet on these guys yours looks like a puppy that is not yeah. how the eevee is look no, at it, look, the it looks like a fox looks like a fox you guys have like claws or something no, no. Mine, mine for sure won this round there's no way uh, it's up to you guys make sure you guys leave a comment down below of who had the best most realistic eevee next up mudkip mudkip okay mudkip Slash imagine Mudkip. All right. So I maybe looked up some other really good prompts and we're going to test out one. So somebody used this for a really good looking Lucario. So I'm really hoping that I could just put Mudkip in there and we'll see what we get. We'll also do slash imagine realistic Mudkip. Slash imagine realistic Mudkip swimming with frogs. Let's see what we get. The first ones are actually looking really good, except for the bottom right one. The bottom right one kind of looks like it should be on Club Penguin. Okay, we got them all back. This is what I got from the really long detailed description. I don't think I could use these. Maybe the bottom left one. These ones are looking a little bit better. Mmm, wait a second. Okay, top right kind of looks like Mudkip or bottom left. So far out of these right now, I like the bottom left one and either the top right or the bottom left one here. The bottom left one looks almost like too real. Okay, we're gonna make a bigger version of the third one here and I guess of the third one here. Why does this Mudkip look like a bunny? I think this is our winner. It looks so good, dude. It has the little tiny orange things coming out of its face. The eyeballs look super realistic. This one looks good, but not as good. And I have no idea what it's swimming with. You ready to lose? All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Realistic Mudkip. Oh, okay. Not bad, not bad. You tried. You really gave it your best. I tried so hard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what is yours? What are you oh, I don't at? even want to hear it. No, bro. My, Dude, okay, we have the same the eyes. What do you mean it? Mine has the little tiny cheeks. All right, don't, don't, you know, no. don't judge him by his cheek size. Look at, look at his face. You can literally see the details yours? on his face. My horn is so much better than yours. I don't even know. The horn doesn't matter. Yes, yours does. it looks, has a big flap. Yours a looks a little flap. less realistic, and it also looks like yours has a giant upper lip. That looks so dumb. What? I, also, right. what, what are his hands? Oh, what dog. are his my... hands? Why he has little nubs for hands? He's standing up. He's a baby. He's a <laughs> he looks. Guy. He looks like. Wait, yo, what is your guy's hands? <laughs> it looks like he's a mermaid. Bro. Flippers, dude. It's it's based off an axolotl. They're like little flippers. No, it's not. Yes, it is. All right, it's up to you guys. All right, it's not up to Adam. It's not up to me. It's up to you guys. Oh, Comment gosh. down below who had the most realistic mud kip. Oh, this round was tough. It's me. It's me for sure. Oh, I destroyed you. All right, two more to go. Next up, Gyarados. Oh my gosh, this one's gonna be tough. Slash imagine realistic Gyarados. Honestly, it worked last time, so it probably is gonna work this time. I really do wanna make sure that we get the full body of Gyarados in there. Slash imagine realistic Gyarados. Head coming out of ocean, full body. Whoa. Okay, that bottom right one, that's looking amazing. Bottom left kind of looks like, it, it looks better, but it looks more like a shark than Gyarados. Top right one does look good though. That one does have the same arch as Gyarados does. Okay, this is hyper realistic Gyarados, full body. I don't think I like any of these. The top right one looks like you combined Magikarp with Gyarados. Actually, not a bad idea. I don't even want to know what these things are. Okay, out of these, I for sure like two of these. I like version two and version four. 
So far, this one's the most realistic, and I don't really like it that much. Hmm, yes, hmm, yes, 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 okay, okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe the top left one, bottom right could be it? This is a tough one. I think I just have to lock in this one. I have my Gyarados. Do you have yours? Um, I'm between two right now. All right, make up your mind. Take your I, time. I did something a little wonky. Like what? I, I think I got it. All right, I'm going to go with it. Okay. Are we putting it? I do it? like this one a lot. Three, two, two one. one. Realistic Gyarados. Oh. Okay. I can see yours. I see. Okay, the teeth are a little bit weird. I will say that. But I My do teeth? like yours. Yeah. I, I like how it's what? like full full body. What yeah. is yours, man? I destroyed what do you, mean? you this round. What are you talking about? Dude, My like teeth are way head. better. That's what he dude. He basically is a dragon. No, absolutely not. You don't know anything. Yours looks like a dragon head too. What are you what are you all no, about? No, 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 no. Yours does look like a serpent. It looks really cool. I just I don't understand like in the background what's look happening that, with yours bro. i don't know yours what looks like it has like multiple bodies i don't know no, on the right splashing. side it looks like there's multiple bodies going no, no, on no, 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 no. that's that's water he's splashing that's kind of weird i no, think no, my no, head no, 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 no. looks a lot better than your head well yeah that's because he's not in action my mine is like in the middle of the night he's seeking his prey the mm. lighting's perfectly on his forehead mm. i don't know good. i'm looking at mine's body too and i think the body looks a lot more realistic than yours absolutely yours not. looks like a tr like, it kind of looks like a transformer what it's almost too perfect. What? That's not real life. What are you talking about? Your dude has an overbite, like a dummy. All right, don't make fun of him. If he was opening his mouth, he would look the same as yours. Absolutely not. Guys, it's up to you. Leave your comments down below. The last Pokemon of the day, Mewtwo. Oh. The best one. You're going down. I got to win this last round. I think I got to go for this one, guys. I'm going to try to replace the Lucario from before, and I'm going to put Mewtwo in there. Let's see what we get. We'll also do slash imagine realistic Mewtwo and see what we get back. Slash imagine realistic Mewtwo charging up in energy blast. Oh, wait, the first ones are looking pretty good. There are a lot more images of Mewtwo on the internet, so I feel like Mid Journey could do a really good job with this one. I'm getting a little bit nervous. I'm losing faith. Are these any good? Eh, eh, okay. I don't like the first round. Second round, uh, 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 kind of looks more like a Dragon Ball Z character. And round number three, also don't really like. I did Mewtwo fighting Charizard, and I'm not entirely sure what I got back. This one, they completely flip-flopped it. Mewtwo looks like Charizard, and Charizard looks like Mewtwo. I'm gonna see if it knows the Detective Pikachu movie. There was a pretty realistic Mewtwo in there, so I'm hoping it could just copy that. Okay. All right. It seems like it made Mewtwo into a detective. That was not what I wanted at all. Wait a second. These ones are actually turning out to be pretty good. So far out of all of these, I think I like bottom left, top left, maybe. You ready, Beck bro? Beck bro. I'm waiting on a couple renders. Uh-oh, somebody's folding. No. Time's no. Up. Time's up. I think this is my best one. No, it's not. I think it is. All right, whatever. I'm going to rock with this one. All right. Put your realistic Mewtwo in three, two, one. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what is that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what is that? That looks like the hairless cats. That is Mewtwo. <laughs> he doesn't that even have any white on him. That is a purple, saggy old cat. Are you kidding me? Yours Mine looks, like looks a so robot. much that more. Is not Mewtwo no, dude, is it that? Those are his muscles. What? Look at the Mewtwo, and then look at yours. Mine looks like the realistic version. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. <laughs> That's so bad. You're, it has no, no you're white joking. on it. You are joking. Mine at least has the same structure as Mewtwo. You're just, yours doesn't even have the tail. The tail's such a big part. Yes, it does. It's just off screen. It's Where? Down. Where? No, it always comes up. Look, look at his no, tail. No. Always comes up. It's off the screen to the side. Always comes up, Adam. Your dude, yours. I couldn't even tell. Yours looks more like Lucario no. okay. than you two. If we ask Alec right now, he would say mine looks better. Let's ask him. Okay. Siren, siren, siren. Yeah. We we, we just we just need it your opinion. Ultimately, all right. It's up to you guys in the comments, but we just need you to to just like help the people. You know, guide I them in a in a people. direction. 
Tell me which, tell me first off, which photo matches up with which Pokemon? What's the Pokemon? What's the Pokemon? It's Mewtwo. And how, okay, okay, okay. which, which, which one gave that, that to you? Which one gave that to you? Well, I would say they're both Mewtwo. No, yeah, but, but which like, one which helped one you like say Mewtwo, Mewtwo more? Which one is more Mewtwo? Yes. I'm going to say the photo that Adam sent. What? Is more Mewtwo. What? No, bro. Let's go. No way. No way. You guys are crazy. It doesn't even have any white. It doesn't even have a tail. It looks you, like an bro. old saggy cat. Dude, I that told is an you. old it's too good. saggy degrading cat that already went through not nine lives, ten lives. It looks better than yours. Yours looks like I can stomp on it. Sorry, Mewtwo's buddy. supposed to look sorry, big buddy. and strong. You got outvoted. I'm sorry. All right, Adam, the first Pokemon is baby Pikachu. Ooh, Pikachu. Wait, Pikachu's already kind of like a baby. It's going to be Pikachu, but the cute baby version. Good All luck, right. Adam. I'm going to take you out, son. Psych, not, not, not good luck. He's going down. For those of you guys that have not seen AI before, you are about to have your mind blown. If I type in slash imagine cute baby Pikachu, this AI bot will generate four different versions of a cute baby Pikachu. All right, while that's loading, I'm going to go imagine. Imagine baby Pikachu. We should probably also do a cute baby realistic looking Pikachu. How do you spell Pikachu? Peak, uh, chew. I really hope I spell it right. These are already looking so good. The more detail you give it, the more of a better image it hopefully will pop out. Oh, look at that. Look, just baby Pokemon. Look at that top right one. That already looks like a baby Pikachu. I love the Pikachu that has a little hood on. These kind of look like baby Pikachu. The, the top right one's my favorite. I'm going to render that one out. Oh, somehow they got better. Look at this bottom left one. It looks like a baby cat. Okay, out of these ones, I think I'm going to do the bottom left one. I don't think I've seen anything that cute in my entire life. Ooh, okay. All right, I like these. The bottom right one, I think, is my favorite by far. Oh, look at this little droopy face. God, it's just like any baby that is ever born always has that extra little fat in its face and tummy, and it's showing a lot in this baby Pikachu. All right. I love this. The eyeballs look like Puss from Puss in Boots. He just looks so innocent. The tail is is the only thing that looks a little bit weird. So the the problem with AI is that it sometimes has errors like this, where like humans would make, look, and it's got one nose and then it's got another nose. I think it has three noses. However, this, it didn't mess up at all. This is absolute perfection. I might print this out and frame it. Adam, I think I have my baby Pikachu. It's time up. Time is up. I'm gonna destroy you. I'm excited for this one. Three, two, one, boom. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry, dude. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Wait, what are you laughing at? That your mind smokes here. Just look at it. Look like Pikachu. <laughs> what, dude? Yours looks. <laughs> What are you laughing at? It's a baby. It's supposed to look stupid. It, it looks it's so like two dumb. Pikachu. It's dude. Mine looks like a baby, but it's like it's like a cute baby. It's like a baby that you would put into a commercial. Your baby looks like a baby that you might find in a dumpster. Dude, what? <laughs> Your baby looks like also, it's in a dumpster. Its fur is black. Adam, I want to point out what's going on with the feet. The feet are like they're twisted right. into two. It whoa, looks like an whoa. alien. We're not talking about babies. Have that look. I don't know if you've ever seen an <laughs> infant, but they have the the droopy cheeks. The fat tummy, the extra leg. It's it's textbook baby. So guys, this is what I look like as a baby, and this is what Adam looked like as a baby. Just keep that in mind when you're voting down below in the comments. All right, I clearly took round one. Guys, it's up to you. You know, you can vote Adam or you could vote the winning team. And if you do vote me while you're down there, leave a like to join my team. You didn't win that round. There's Bro. just absolutely no way. Number two is Squirtle. Ooh. All right, you All got right. five minutes. Go. Five minutes to make a baby Squirtle. Got it. Why is he picking Pokemon that are already babies? Literally, Squirtle is the first evolution. Realistic baby Squirtle swimming in a pond with tadpoles slash imagine baby squirtle sometimes the simple ones that give you the best results oh my goodness <laughs> i just want to squeeze his cheeks all right so i'm on the web right now and well i'm looking at baby squirtle and i'm really liking this guy so what i can do is i can copy this image then i can go back to discord Ooh, wait those babies are cute Okay, we go back to Discord. I'm getting distracted. I'm sorry. Copy the image address. Go back to Discord. Go slash imagine. Put that into the prompt. And then we go, we type in baby, cute, chibi, super cuddly. Boom. That is a perfect prompt. Okay, what the heck is this? This is a human. 
What is that bottom left one? Oh my god, it looks like it morphed into an actual human. Oh god, this is disgusting. This is like a more, this is a fusion of a human and a baby squirtle. The bottom left one is one of my favorites and top left too. I like the additional detail of like the extra patterns on his head. This is the cute baby realistic to bro. Look at the bottom left. <laughs> that is so good. And for this one, we put baby squirtle. They do all kind of look like babies. Out of all of these, I think this one is my favorite. And out of these, we're going to go bottom left as well, which is the third variation. Oh, look at this. We have a bunch of baby turtles that kind of look like Squirtle, not really. Oh gosh, all right, this might be our best option. That top left one looks really good. All right, what we can do, actually, instead of rendering it out, I can do four more versions of that top left one. I honestly don't know which one to pick. I think this one is probably the best. It does have some really weird looking hands. This guy kind of also has like weird hands. It seems like AI just isn't the best with hands. And this guy, he just looks like a cute little toddler that just like wants some food. Guys, I have a few tricks up my sleeve that I'm gonna be using throughout today's video. Video, so make sure to stay tuned and if you have any suggestions of image prompts i could put in let me know because i need to be jack i need to destroy him comment hashtag dirt boy rules i just really love the giant cheeks oh my god oh i forgot about this oh god oh my god i can't i can't go through with this one are you kidding me it's over for you dirt boy seriously you should probably not even paste anything bro you round. say this every round i'm just dumb. saying it. you really shouldn't i have three different variations that are like all probably way better than yours I'm three Two, one, baby Squirtle. <laughs> that is a human. No, dude. See, you're not understanding. That is a human. It has baby feet. It has human feet. it's also feet. a Squirtle. <laughs> Some, I don't know how, but somehow my AI thought I was trying to fuse a human and a, and a baby Squirtle together. So it gave like the baby features of a human with the Squirtle. I and what's okay, up? That actually wasn't my real one. Oh, okay. I just That's... I needed some time for mine to render. Oh, oh that is that is good because I got really scared for you. Here it is. Oh, all right. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ours are actually really close. Yours for some reason. What's on the arm? Like it kind of looks weird. I do like its feet. You're, you're saying that mine's the I'm best one. I'm not giving you nothing because Adam, mine... I'm pretty sure is saying that you guys should vote for me. That's that's Dude, what I'm Mine hearing. is like playing in the water. It's it's. It's up to you guys to comment down below who won baby squirtle round. It's not even close. It's lit, dude. You can you keep you. keep telling yourself that. Next round, Onyx slash Imagine Onyx as a baby slash Imagine baby Onyx wearing a diaper sitting in a crib. Okay, I'm very confused. That's not Onyx slash Imagine baby Onyx Pokemon. Oh gosh, guys. I think it, it thinks that I mean like a dragon or a cat that has amazing hair. None of these look anything like Onyx. Why does it think an Onyx is a dragon or like a like a cow? This Onyx looks more like Bulbasaur. Okay, this one got a little bit closer. All right, guys. So for this round, I want to bring in different types of styles. If I put the name of any artist into this prompt, it'll actually use their art style to make an image. It got a little bit closer, but still, dude, it keeps making like these dragon transformers. What if I do slash imagine Pokemon Onyx made from rock? Let's just see if it could even bring me like something that looks like an Onyx. This is a problem. Really? I can clearly see limbs. I would say maybe the bottom left one looks most like Onyx. We're gonna do that. We're gonna imagine and then change the art style. So we're gonna have a bunch of different people. I want a bunch of comic book. This is not it. This is not doing well right now from Pokemon. Hopefully that does something. Boom. Let's see what we get. These are not coming out the way I want them to. How is this Onyx? See, this is also the problem. It's hard to tell, to communicate with the AI what you actually want. Oh! Here we go! We actually got something! Okay, that top right or bottom left one actually kind of look like Onyx. Yeah. Jack! Yeah. You ready? Time is up! I don't have anything that looks like an Onyx. Three, two, one, baby Onyx! Ew, dude! This is gross! What is that? That's the best one you could find? That, you're joking, right? That's the only one of mine that, like, didn't have limbs and it kind of looked like a rock. All right, do you not- I'm gonna send you Onyx just so you know what he looks like. Just Bro. Me. I know. Bro. Okay, hold on, wait. This was- this was my other one that kind of looked a little bit better. Oh my gosh. Oh my- What is that? <laughs> I don't- I don't know. I don't know. Are it's, you kidding me? It's, uh, it's up to you guys. Look Ultimately, at your at one the, that you just sent me! At the end of the day, it's up to you guys. Comment down below. Who you're took joking. round three? It's not even close. What is yours? 
Next up, Dragonite. 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 Oh, we need to step it up this round. Slash imagine baby Dragonite in Pokemon style. Let's see what happens with that. So far, I think we're getting back some pretty good stuff. Yes, I think that might be the one right there. All right, it rendered out. Oh yeah, the, the top left one kind of looks cool and the bottom right one. I don't know why they combined it with the Squirtle. That looks so weird. The top right one might be the one that we go with. Wait, yo, the, the top right one's really good, but I can't, I can't because it's an actual baby but that looks just like a Dragonite. Like the bottom left one. That one looks awesome. And this guy, I think the bottom left one. Luckily, this round went a lot better than the last round. Let's see what this pops up. Oh my God, oh my gosh, this is a cursed image. It literally looks like a real baby dressed up as a Dragonite for Halloween. That is terrifying. Oh wait, I just saw something. Yo, we got it, we got it. Oh my gosh, these are sick. This one is so funny. It's like a chubby toddler Dragonite. I think this one is for sure the best though. I'm between the top left and the bottom right right now. Dirt boy, we are back in business. It is over for you. All right, in three, three two, two, one, baby Dragonite. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at mine, dude. Mine actually looks really good, but it's like a baby dressed up as it's, a dragonite. It's so scary. This Ooh. is actually mine. That one's good. It's almost as good as mine's going to be, but oh, wow. Well, I like yours, but I love mine. Oh, wait a second. Hold Come on. on. Adam, I'm pretty sure um, the prompt was dragonite, not Charizard. Dude, are you joking? I'm pretty sure the prompt was That is dragonite. not Charizard. That's dragonite. It has Charizard's wings, bro. No, it does not. Don't even cap right now. No, wait, now. I'm actually not capping. Look, look, I'm pasting the image right now of Dragonite. That is the same exact dude, wings. Are you dude, joking? I'm telling you, I'm telling look at you. The way it's up to you guys. Which baby Dragonite did you guys like better? Make sure you guys comment hashtag Team Jack to join my team. Team Dirt Boy right now. You guys already know I won that round. Next up, Sceptile. This one's going to be tough. I kind of want to just imagine a Trico, which is the first evolution of a Sceptile. And if I just slash imagine baby Sceptile in the style of Pokemon, we might get something pretty good back. Okay, uh, we got the spelling wrong. Let's just ignore that first one. We're going to go slash imagine here. We need as many versions as we can. Ooh. Wait, this is interesting. The the top left one. The bottom left one is really looking nice. And then let's see. This is baby Sceptile. The bottom left one looks so good. And bottom right too. All of these are so good. It's really tough to pick just one of these. I am having way too much fun with this. The one on the top right, it, just, it looks so tiny. Oh my gosh. What is this? What is popping out? I really like the bottom left one. What happened? What is this? It's like a plant, dude. And I think out of these, the bottom right one of this one probably looks the best. Oh, what do we get here? Oh, okay. This is better. Mine are rendering out. Oh, you're going down. I have a render about to blow your mind. Of a septile? Is it is it skeptile? <laughs> it's septile. Say 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 it with me. Septile. Skeptile. Septile. Skeptile. Septile. 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 You got it. There, yeah. there you go. No, you're losing it again. You're losing it. <sighs> yeah, lost. All right, I got mine. I'm locking mine in. Let's go. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Baby Sceptile. Oh, okay. They're, they're more similar than I thought they'd be. Ah. Mm, I think there's a clear winner. Mine is what Skeptile always wanted to be. <laughs> Stop saying Skeptile. Dude, I don't know, man. Mine looks like, like a tiny baby budding Sceptile. Dude, he's he's going to grow up to be what? an absolute menace because Sceptile is, is amazing. Dude, mine looks just like him. Adam. But in a baby. What? Um, Are you nah, you, dude, your background is, is bad. Your tail looks awful. His head does look good. I'll give you that. But he, he's not even cute. He's not even adorable. You gotta be joking, man. It's up to you guys. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. Which dude. septile is the better baby? Next up, Groudon. The first legendary Pokemon of the day. Go. Don't mess this up. All right, I can't. I'm not going to. I won every round. So what Adam doesn't know, and what you guys might not know, is that I can actually use the AI to reverse image search. Um, so if I look up an image of baby Groudon, maybe something like this, or even this little guy, I can type in slash describe. Put in the image, and it'll tell Tell me exactly what prompt I should put in to get something like it. Dark red and white. All right, we're looking good. Oh my God, oh my, oh my gosh. What is that? Wait, what is about to load right now? What? 
This is supposed to be a baby version of Groudon. That is terrifying. Dude, this is terrifying. This looks like Godzilla taking over New York City. <laughs> These look so good. This is just baby Groudon in chibi style. The top left one is the best. And then we go to just baby Groudon. The top right one kind of does look like a Groudon because Groudon is pretty much just like a giant lizard. The teeth in the bottom left one, they look so weird. All right, that's what it just rendered out. These are decent backups. These are still terrifying, though. Why is baby Groudon so scary? <laughs> These look nothing like Groudon. What is this thing recreating? This is what I wanted it to make. And this is what I got back. I mean, they look really cool. Not what I was going for. Okay, I think we're going to have to go with probably the top left version of this. And we'll go with the top right version of this. Come on. Bang. Give me something. I think the bottom left one's it. The bottom left one looks really good. I don't know how that hand got in there, but I, I really like this. The bottom left one looks like Groudon. It looks like the baby version. I think we're rolling with it. Okay, I think the bottom right one looks most like Groudon, plus it looks like a baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Top left, top left looks good. Top left looks good. Wait, 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 wait. This one might blow it out of the water. Are you kidding me? Yo! Top left one, top left. I have my baby Groudon. It took you long enough. I've been waiting. Three, two, two one. one. Baby Groudon! Oh! Whoa. You got some different art style here. It looks like a sticker. What? Ew, dude, you got like three hot dog fingies in the bottom right. That's so I know, weird. Yeah. Okay, just imagine that cropped out, all right? That's Don't so weird that. looking. Regardless. Come on. It looks pretty good, all right? It does look pretty good. I don't know if it's as good as mine, all right? Jack. Jack. Yours, yours is yours is like in cartoon style, which is, that's pretty cool and all, but I took it one step further. I made mine three-dimensional. It has teeth. It, it literally has all of the spikes going down Groudon's back. It has the little tiny arms. Dude. It looks awesome. Groudon does not have that many spikes, not even close. He does going down, going down his back. I'm staring at a photo. He has like eight spikes on each side. That is 30 on his back. There's yeah, but no he's, he's just a little that. guy. Once he gets bigger, the spikes sort of start to like go out to the oh, side. Sides oh. a little bit more. I don't know. I think mine's cuter. It looks like it could kill me. And Dude. it looks like a better baby Groudon. And yours has fingers too, which we gotta, we can't forget about the fingers. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, it's up to you guys. You know, make sure you guys go quickly and comment down below. I still see fingers. I still see fingers. Make sure you guys quickly go down below and leave a comment which one of the baby Groudons you think wins. They're commenting Team Dirt Boy. The last one. <laughs> last round. The last round of the day. You need to make a baby Entei. Baby Entei. Baby Entei cartoon Pokemon. Let's see what that brings back. All right, guys. Um, I'm pranking. I'm going to prank Jack this round. <laughs> I'm doing it. All right. Uh, so I was in charge of making these baby Pokemon cards. I actually have them on me. That is not Entei. It kind of turned Entei into a bird. Uh, we got these baby Pokemon cards made for a future video coming up. So I hired an artist to make this design. This is a baby Entei already finished and Jack's never seen it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that image and just say that AI made it and I'm going to win the challenge. For whatever reason, some of these still look like birds. Like what is that in the bottom right? Bottom left, however, that's looking pretty good. Okay, we're going to render out bottom left. But I think I can do better. Okay, there it is. Boom. I got it right there. <laughs> this is... I even have the cool background, too. All right. Uh, I kind of want to see what it comes up with, but there's no way Jack's beating that. Uh, I'm just going to type in baby Entei, a bunch of stuff. But guys, this is what I'm going with. I'm telling Jack AI made it. There is 0% chance that Jack wins this. See, these ones look really cool if they actually look like Entei. Entei does not stand on two legs. That's the only problem with this one. Like, if it was just the head, you could see maybe Entei. But yeah, Entei does does not do that. Entei is a lion. I guess it's a dog. It's so interesting to see what AI comes up with when I just put baby Entei. It's so wrong. I put Pokemon Entei for this and they got it a little bit better. This guy kind of looks like a werewolf. I said baby Entei Pokemon standing on all four legs. They're not standing on all fours. I have to take this last round. Whenever he's ready, we're going to pop him with that. I'm going to actually put the pressure on him. Oh, Jack, you ready? Come on. You got nothing, don't you? You're done. Let's I have go. cool ones. They all just keep standing on two legs. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the upscale. This is your final round, so you better cherish it. Three, two, one, baby Entei. What is that? Jack. <laughs> what did you put? Jack, you got smoked this round. That looks terrible. 
Your that doesn't even look even cool close. at all. That Yours is a baby so What are you talking about? You definitely just photoshopped that. That looks literally like a like a seven year old got Photoshop and they Whoa. made that. What are you talking about? It's got Scooby Doo legs. What, bro? <laughs> it looks exactly like End Day. Just a baby. Oh, form. I was I was scared at the start, but bro. Yeah, no. Yeah, all right, guys. He's just saying that because he's trying to make you guys think that his is better. Just say it, man. Zero percent like End Day. You got Scooby Doo zero. looking legs. Oh my god, you have a problem. Zoinks, bro. Holy Jack, crap. What is yours? Dude, mine looks way cooler please, than yours. Please look at it. But it's supposed to be a baby version of Ente, not a random thing. You that's definitely on just photoshopped that. What? <laughs> bro, you definitely got that from somewhere. Dude, what are you talking about? It doesn't look like the AI. Like the AI, we've been using it for so long and it's never made anything like that. Guys, comment down below who you think won. What is that even? What are all these different? Why you put code in there? It's not even cheating because I'm just are, I'm, I'm just better. But what do the numbers mean? That's like how much that it it it's supposed to focus on one specific thing. What? It's it's not it's not who looks most like the Pokemon. It's who had the better baby version. What? What? Since when are we trying to make it look exactly like the Pokemon? What like are we yours, doing? Yours just looks like Entei. It guys. doesn't even look like a baby version of Entei. It guys, just looks like Entei. You know Minecraft mob that we have to turn realistic is a Minecraft creeper. Oh, my favorite, bro. Five minutes on the clock. Starting now. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to be using an AI tool called Mid Journey in order to turn normal Minecraft mobs into super realistic versions of themselves. It's pretty cool. So if I type in slash imagine, I can type anything that I'm thinking. Realistic Minecraft creeper. Let's see what that gives me. We can also do multiple prompts at the same time. So we'll do slash imagine Minecraft creeper standing in a realistic grass field. So we almost like don't want it to be blocky, which is gonna be really difficult to do. We're actually able to see the progress that the AI is making on the custom art. It's kind of a little bit creepy. Okay, we got back our first realistic creepers. <laughs> the bottom left one, that just looks like Oscar the Grouch, but like super blocky. The top right one kind of looks okay. It looks like a slime block grew legs. Top left, I don't even want to talk about it. And then bottom right looks like a giant slime. We need something that looks more real. Okay, this is the Minecraft creeper standing in a grass field. The grass field looks realistic, but the actual Minecraft creeper doesn't look super realistic. We definitely need to do some work. Slash imagine Minecraft creeper, but not blocky. Slash imagine creeper from the game Minecraft in a real world city. Oh, I also just got a brand new idea. Minecraft creeper anime style hyper realistic. It seems like the more keywords that we put into the prompt, the better results we're getting. Why do these look so cute? Okay, the top left one kind of looks like the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> if we could just like get rid of the hand, that would be really cool. I don't know why, but the AI really wants to give the creeper arms, even though as we know, creepers don't have arms. <laughs> I don't know why these look so funny. The bottom left one just looks confused. All of them look like they did not ask to be born. Oh, the anime style actually looks pretty good. I kind of like the bottom right one. Okay, let's blow that up. It's not super realistic because it is like anime cartoon style, but it's more realistic than anything that we've gotten. All right, time is up. Adam, do you have your creeper? Do I have my creeper? <laughs> <laughs> no seriously okay cool you got you got your creeper you just took a selfie right and then you're just gonna paste it in yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's paste them in in three two one what 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 Whoa, oh, who oh, is oh that? sorry my bad my, wrong one wrong one sorry no minecraft creeper not irl creeper and boom minecraft creeper what yeah you Wait, like that what, don't what you you this? like no, that i don't what is that yes you do yes you do All right, i'm going with that's pretty cool isn't it's it so much cooler look at the top right that's the one i'm going with wait you okay top right is the one they're going with i was gonna say you pasted four we have to pick one out of every single prompt that we do it's got the explosion it's got the little minecraft steve running uh, away 
Adam. He's got the big bad creeper. Adam. Coming. It's looking it's looking real blocky there though. It's Minecraft, but in real life. Uh, he's gonna keep his blocky structure. I turned the creeper into this a human. Isn't turning creepers into anime. This is turning creepers into real life. <laughs> That's real life. Like he could be a real life person. I don't think I would ever see yours in real life. Alright, what well, it's up to you guys ultimately. <laughs> Make sure you guys go in the comments and vote for who you think had the more realistic creeper. Five minutes on the clock. Next up, realistic Minecraft zombie. Okay, now we know what Adam's thinking. He's doing like blocky forms, but in real life, which honestly looked pretty cool. I still think that mine was better and more realistic, but let's go ahead and try to adopt his style. We'll do slash imagine Minecraft zombie chasing Steve in a cave. Hyper realistic. Okay, let's see what we get there. Slash imagine zombie standing in a grass field burning from the sun. You see, Minecraft zombies can't survive in the sun. So it would be kind of cool if we can have a Minecraft zombie that's like slightly on fire. Okay, we're starting to get our results from the first prompt back. It is pretty freaking cool that AI is able to create pretty much anything that I want. Like the fact that we just literally made a Minecraft scene that looks like it could be from Minecraft story mode is so cool to me. All right, top left, they actually have Steve. Bottom right, I don't know what that is. There's like tiny mole creatures running around with Steve. Bottom left isn't even Minecraft. It looks more like Lego. And top right, I'm not sure what this creature is. It looks like a monstrosity. I do like that thing in the back, but it definitely looks more like a creeper demo dog than a zombie. Okay, this is the Minecraft zombie standing in the field burning. <laughs> Okay, dude, what is this? They just look like giant meat people. Like what? Like, dude, I don't like the, I don't like the look of that. I, I really don't like it. It looks like they're all sunburned. Now this is what I'm talking about. Okay, we just need to make it a little bit more Minecrafty. Okay, let's see if we can do one that's in a cave and we could also do one in a mine shaft. So far, I'm starting to like this top right one here. I don't know what I'm looking at. The top left one looks like a cute little kawaii slime. Bottom left looks like Herobrine's child. Top right kind of looks like a paper mache zombie and bottom right that thing just looks like the thing from doors oh wait a second the top right one that's it that looks so good it's not as blocky but it still does kind of have like the blocky textures it's in like a mine shaft it looks like it's like crawling its way out of a grave okay that one's my favorite so far but these ones also look kind of good especially bottom left that one looks great okay that guy is like covered in ants which is kind of creeping me out okay let's do the bottom left one here which is the third one and then we could also blow up the top right one i think if I have to do this, I'm going with this one. Time is up. Did you even make a zombie? You have no idea what you're getting into right now. This is my idea. What are you talking you are about? You're so done. All right. Sounds like you have your zombie. I've spent so much precious time perfecting every single block and placement. You are going down. Okay. Three, two, one. Zombie. Oh, oh wait. okay, okay, Yours okay, looks okay. Like Frankenstein the zombie. Yours looks like it's got that creeper looking forehead. What are you talking about? Okay, mine's got it's got the classic zombie shirt and the zombie pants. That's not a dude, that's like diamond what armor. That's not about? even that's the shirt. shirt. What do you mean? My guy looks so much better. My guy is literally like a realistic zombie, but he still has the blocky okay. textures, and he's also crawling his way out of a grave, just like good zombies do. What's coming out of his eyes? They're like like they're they're glowing because zombies eyes glow no, no no like is it like string coming out of his eyes what is oh that? no it's like it's like a worm coming out of his Ew, eye that's gross yeah yeah i know it's pretty cool though i don't know adam if this one's even close i really don't i mean you really you tried your best i don't think so either i think i really wiped the floor with you <laughs> Are you delusional? Adam, Adam, get some Windex, get a napkin, and wipe those eyeballs off. Wipe those eyeballs off. Mine looks just like a, a Minecraft zombie, but if it wasn't real life, like, that's the whole challenge. Yours just looks like a zombie. When is the last time you got your eyes checked? You decide. You decide in the comments below. Tell him to shut it because everybody knows I won. Guys, you know who had the better zombie, but it is up to you guys to comment down below which zombie was more realistic. The next Minecraft mob is a skeleton. Oh, that's gonna be my favorite. Yeah, you look like a skeleton. I think Adam is starting to get too into this. Okay, we need to make sure that we win this one. He is really confident, but I'm gonna beat him. So since a Minecraft skeleton in real life would 
basically just be a skeleton. We're gonna do slash imagine skeleton shooting a bow and arrow at Minecraft Steve. I feel like if it can nail this like I'm imagining, then we got this. We're literally gonna have the best realistic Minecraft skeleton the world has ever seen. Wait, I also just had a different idea. What if I do slash imagine Minecraft skeleton jockey in a desert? I kind of want to see if it even knows what that is. Okay, I typed in skeleton shooting a bow and arrow at Minecraft Steve, and it just made a Minecraft skeleton. That is not what I wanted. Slash imagine realistic skeleton shooting a bow and arrow surrounded by tiny zombies. Okay, I do kind of like the bottom right skeleton. It looks like it would be from Minecraft, but like also Hytale at the same time. The top right is a skeleton that is holding what appears to be a bow and arrow, but it is actually a giant hoe. My man is dedicated to farm life. Whoa, I don't know what I'm looking at. There are skeletons riding on skeletal camels. That is the last thing I expected to see. I'm liking this one. This one's looking promising. Check out this one, dude. Dude, we have not just one skeleton. We have a whole army of skeletons. This looks like something you would find in ancient times in like a Egyptian tomb. Okay, I'm really liking either the top left here or the bottom left. Probably the bottom left. I do want to see what happens with this next one because I tried instead of like a Minecraft skeleton to do voxel, which is kind of just like a blocky structure. So it, it'll be like Minecrafty, but kind of real. Let's see if it turns out anything cool. Check it out. Wait, that is sick. Okay, I think I like this top left one or maybe bottom left for some reason they look really tiny though i don't know why the ai made them so tiny okay i think i gotta go bottom left here i'm gonna try one last prompt we have one minute left it's a realistic skeleton standing in a grass field holding a bow and arrow voxel style that bottom left one looks pretty freaking good okay let's go with that one Mr. Dirt Boy, it is time for the skeleton. Are you actually ready? Are you really, really ready? Three, two, one. Okay. What? That is not even funny. <laughs> Stop doing that. You did Alec with the creeper coming into the skeleton. Where are you going to find that photo? What, what is that? Boom, skeleton. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. The first one was better. The second one's trash. What are you talking about? You're actually, like, like on Silly Juice right now. It's got the little bit of magic on its foot, little fire flame. It's got the loaded... Why does it have magic? It has the loaded bow ready to shoot. Uh, mine looks pretty good, though. Yeah. Mine looks a lot cleaner than yours. Mine would definitely beat yours in a fight, 100%. What are you talking about? Like, you're Do you see right? the arrow? Your guy isn't even holding the arrow right. It's on his shoulder. That's where it's supposed to be loaded. <laughs> It's like an action shot. He doesn't let it That's go. how I know you're lying. You're it's lying you through your flying. teeth. I don't even know, like, what, what is your environment? You're, like, you're in, a, like, a Lego environment. How is this even real life? Legos are in real life. This could be, like, a Lego structure that was made at it. Mine looks, like, kind of like a video game, but kind of like a real-life no, skeleton no, that you no. would find in real life standing in, like, a field. No, that's what I was going for. Like, do you see how the bow is, like, a little gamey, but, like, the rest of the... Guys, we're, we're stopping this. Ladies and gentlemen, comment down below which one you think is more realistic, okay? Not which one you think is better. Which one do you think is more realistic? That's the game. Mob number four. You gotta turn a Minecraft spider into a realistic spider. So the problem with this one, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the thing is I maybe have arachnophobia and I am terrified of spiders and every time I see one, I grab my handy dandy flamethrower and I burn my entire house down. True story. Okay, so we're gonna have to get past that because I cannot let Dirt Boy beat me. I am the older sibling and I refuse to lose. Okay, we're gonna do slash imagine. Let's do giant spider on the side of a house that is on fire. That way the spider for sure is gonna burn alive. Okay, while that's working, I do wanna see what happens if I just type in realistic Minecraft spider. We're starting to get the first little looks at the first prompt, and I'm I'm not liking it. I'm actually getting a little bit creeped out by it. Is anybody else getting a little bit sweaty? Oh my gosh, dude, that looks like an alien. This is so creepy. Ew. Oh, okay, maybe that top left one. It's looking like that one might be the winner. Okay, the giant spider on a house. I don't know, but like AI kind of made this look a little bit CGI'd. It just looks like bad Photoshop. Okay, these ones are looking great. Bottom right. 
right, it's uh, kind of blocky. That's like Adam style, what he would go for. But as you guys know, we're looking for realism. So top left, I mean, it's definitely more realistic, but I think out of all of these, the top right is the most realistic. So let's blow that one up a little bit just to get a, another look. We'll do another prompt of a giant spider surrounded by baby spiders in a cave. Oh, that is gonna be so creepy. Okay, I'm really liking this one. Now, when we do have one that we like, by the way, we have this option to make variations. So we can submit that and it should make variations of this, but they'll look a little bit different. So we can maybe get lucky and it'll be even better. Okay. Wow. That bottom left one, that thing has some crazy teeth. Okay. These ones aren't as good. I tried to make them like hairy, but it just didn't really turn out that great. This one, I, I don't know, man. I really don't know, ladies and gentlemen. This one looks like something out of a horror movie. The bottom right one, look how many legs it has. Okay, it's not realistic. It definitely is the scariest. Like, I'm gonna have nightmares about that. But okay, I think what I'll do is, uh, I, I like this bottom left one. So we're going to blow that up. And this is the one that we're going with. Dirt boy, dirt boy, dirt boy. This might be my best one yet. I don't believe that for some reason. Here we go. In three, two, one, spider. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> okay, okay, I see you. I see you. What is what is up with yours? Why? Mine's got glowing eyes. It's like uh what? it's got the night vision. You know spiders can see in the dark. Why why do you got like like four giant things coming out of its face? That's they look the, like tiny legs. Ah, that's what the uh the Minecraft spider has. Hold on. <laughs> have yes, anything yes, like it that does. yes it does what do you mean it's got the little how many legs does yours have one two three four five six seven eight nine yours has nine legs plus four half legs are we counting legs right now are we actually counting legs one two three four <laughs> five six seven eight Mine has eight. What do you mean? No, it does not. How many legs does it mine has have? Nine. Ah, that's, you know, I neither here that. nor there. Why yours has you... two half legs. But okay, mine is definitely better than yours. Mine looks more real. It's got like little hairs on it too. It's oh, creepy God. as heck. Check out that mouth there. Like, what the heck? Did you see that? If you saw mine, everybody would say, oh, that's a realistic Minecraft spider. Like that, that's the first thing anybody would think. Mm -hmm. Guys, you already know the drill. <laughs> Comment down below that mine is better at this. No, point. wait, wait, wait. This one or this one. All right, Adam. Next up, we are making a realistic you, a villager. Oh, uh, iron golem? <laughs> no, no, villager. What happens if I go slash imagine this as a Minecraft villager? I wonder if they could just turn Adam into a Minecraft villager. I don't even care if I win this round. I just want to I just want to have this image forever and I'm going to print it and I'm going to give it to our parents. They're going to frame it. I guess just in case it doesn't work, I'll throw in a couple other prompts like realistic Minecraft villager. Yo, wait a second. It's working. Okay, this is Adam as a Minecraft villager and I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this is sick. Look at this one, the bottom left one. Okay, I'm going to blow up the bottom left one. And then we also do have some realistic Minecraft villagers out of which I really like this bottom right one. Since villagers are known to farm and he literally is holding a Minecraft wooden hoe. It's a man and his hoe. I like that one. This one also looks pretty good too, especially like they got the nose right on these guys. So if I had to do one, I guess it might be this bottom right one or this one right here, this bottom right one. Okay, let's blow up this bottom right one. Whoa! <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, I want to blow up uh, or actually get more variations of this bottom right one. <laughs> I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Whoa. Okay, I don't like these. That bottom right one, he looks like he has seen some things. Okay, so far, I think this one is our best bet. I did also do a prompt with Adam's picture, and I told him to make it with a giant nose and bald, and I honestly kind of like this bottom left one. All right, Adam, time is up. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, villager. Don't put my picture. Oh my gosh, you used my photo. You used my photo as the image prompt. What is that? That is not even human. 
What is wrong with you? That can't be the real thing. You have to have another one. Okay. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. That's okay. The same okay. image prompt. Don't use me as an image prompt. Bro, it doesn't look anything like a villager anyways. That is a normal nose on that human. <laughs> this is my villager. What the heck? Uh, it just gets worse and worse. What do you mean? This thing's actually good, but I do like yours. Yours is tr yours is weird. Yours is actually Mine is super an weird. Ugly villager with a fat nose. This is exactly what they they would look like in real life. What's up with his pecs? That is the most decrepit old dude ever. That's what a villager is. I don't know what you expected a real life villager to look like. Yeah, that, my that guy, my guy just he looks looks like a farmer. He he is carrying like a wooden hoe. Like, I feel like mine is definitely more Minecraft, but yours looks good. I'm not gonna lie. Yours looks pretty darn good. There's, if I don't take this round, your fans are lying. <laughs> They're just lying. <laughs> Yours isn't even realistic. It just, it looks like pixel. All right, guys, here are the three options. There we go. We got the first one, the second one, which is Adam's. I mean, you're so dumb. <laughs> uh, this whole round is a joke. I won. I should win. You guys you have won. to comment down below which one you think was the more realistic Minecraft villager. All right, next up, we have to make a realistic Minecraft golem. Iron golem. All right, five minutes on the clock in three, two, one, go. I don't even care about that last round. That was so funny. All right, we'll do simple, realistic Minecraft Iron Golem. I actually did like our villager that we got, but I have no idea how Adam got what he got. His looked like this, but way better. Maybe I can get more creative with it. So if I do slash imagine super buff giant dude made out of iron holding a red rose. Maybe if I just describe, yeah, what an iron golem looks like, but like, don't tell them that it's an iron golem and uh, maybe they'll make it real. Okay. This is what we got for the iron golem that I described. And, um, I don't think that's it. Whoa, boys and girls. This looks sick. I can't tell which one I like better. Either the top left one or the bottom right one. Let's go with the top left one. And time is officially run out. No. Sounds like you might not have a good one. I have a great one. Three, two, one. Realistic iron golem. Oh. Whoa. All right. Wait. Yeah, I think mine's better. Nah, nah, wait. No, <laughs> I think no, mine's no, way no, better. No, no, no. Yours what looks is like yours? a robot. What is that? What do you mean? He does not look like a robot. Also, iron golems kind of look robotic because guess what? They're made out of iron. Yeah. What are robots made out of? Iron. No, no. Different metals, not iron specifically. What? What are you talking about? That, that no. iron is one of the main metals that robots no, are made no, out of. No, 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 no. Also, yours, I don't even know. Like, it looks like a like a like a Studio Ghibli movie. Like, it looks literally like a cartoon. It's, it's, it's not a, even it's realistic. A blurry, no, no. It it was it's like a photo that was taken in the 1960s. It just what? Somebody definitely painted that. That is not realistic whatsoever. Yeah, Mine, what? on the other hand, look at the trees. Look at the trees. Look at look at all of the all of the different like vines and stuff on my iron golem. Which you know he has that. Your guy. Where are the vines? Where are what the is vines your iron growing golem on him? Even protecting. Where's your village? It looks like it's lost. He got lost from the. Vi no, actually, he's looking right at the village. He's standing guard outside of the village, looking at you Why for you not leaving a like on today's video. Oh, you guys me. should probably leave a like on today's video. Dang it, bro. That's not up to me. Yo, oh, yeah, yeah, he's admitting. He's admitting. Mine's no, better. Let's I go. Just saw the Let's go. No, you're, guys, you already know. You guys got to comment down below that mine is better. <laughs> No, don't listen to him, guys. You guys can comment which one you personally think is a more realistic iron golem, but it's totally mine. You guys should probably comment mine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up, the final one, the Ender Dragon. Here we go, the final one, real life Ender Dragon. I really hope that Mid Journey knows what an Ender Dragon is and I don't need to put Minecraft. We could also do slash imagine realistic Minecraft Ender Dragon. I wonder what they'll come up with if I just literally put the Ender Dragon. Ooh, so far so good. Whoa, that bottom left one looks amazing. So we need to make sure that it has like the purplish and black colors of the Ender Dragon. Dude, what? Okay, these are all, it looks like they're made out of blocks. So I don't know if we want to quite go with those. This is just the Ender Dragon. Top right looks really cool. I wish we could get like a full body version of that. Okay, we're going to see if we can get an Ender Dragon that's actually like flying in the sky. And we're also going to see if we can get it to shoot a purple fireball. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, but for whatever reason, they put Harry Potter on the back of a giant hog dragon. And then they decided to make an Ender Dragon that was a hot air balloon. That's not quite 
quite what I'm going for. But this is, holy smokes, that looks unreal. I can't tell which one to do, either top left or bottom right. I think I gotta go bottom right. That looks unreal. I do wanna see if there's one more change that I can make to make it a little bit more realistic, cause it kinda looks a little bit too much like art right now. Yes, dudes, I don't know. I think I gotta go with top left or top right, maybe bottom right. This is such a tough one. This is it, guys. Oh, there's no way we lose. It has the purple fireball shooting up here. Dirt boy, it is time for the final round. Three, two, one. Final round, the Whoa. Ender Dragon. Wow. Okay. That's not bad. Is your shoe now fire? What's your shoe now? Yeah, mine has, you know, like the purple fireball that the Ender Dragon shoots. It looks it looks a little red and orangey and yellow. Well, that's because it's it's charging up another one. Oh. Before it turns purple, it actually needs to turn like oh, orange because okay. like it's I not see. hot enough yet. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's making see, it real hot. And then when it gets hot yeah. enough, it turns purple. I've never seen it done that in the game, but yeah, if, if you say so. That's so, I mean, you haven't used enough mods, clearly. So, what's, uh, what's going on with yours? What are you talking about? I don't know. It just, like, doesn't look that great. What are you talking about? It's like, I, I mean, it looks okay. What? The purple part looks good. The rest of it, I mean... What? Eh. Are you insane? <laughs> Yours looks like a fire dragon. Mine looks like the ender dragon. That's just, that's the difference. Mine, dude, what do you mean? Mine are, is the same color as the ender dragon. It's shooting purple. Okay. It's not shooting Yours purple. has purple eyeballs. Shooting, Yours literally has purple. It's not shooting purple. Yes, it is. It's shooting fire. Do you see the purple? Do you see the purple? On its wing? No, no, no. It just shot one and then it flew down what to shoot another one. What are you talking about? It did. It did. I saw it happen. Mine is actually loading up a purple blast. Its tongue is even purple. Like everything. From its eyeballs? That's what the other dragon looks like. I don't know, guys. It's up to you. As always, leave a comment down below and vote for who you think had the better realistic Minecraft mobs for the entire video. <clears throat> You guys know what to do. You guys know it's me. You guys totally I me. I at least won that village. Me. Round. Come on. Vote me. Vote me. Me. Up. Me. Vote me. Vote me. Vote me.